here now so we've finished um pythagoras's theorem and we're moving on to unit nine today which is straight line graphs so today we're going to look at the equation of a straight line but just before we barge straight into the notes i just want to make sure um that you know what i'm on about whenever i'm talking about straight line graphs so i've just hunted out this one here from your textbook okay so whenever we are talking about straight line graphs Oops, sorry. Whenever we're talking about straight line graphs, we are talking about things like this. So you should recognize that as being a straight line graph. But we're going to be talking about the equations of straight line graphs. Now, the equation of a straight line is really just the row that describes the line. So see the way on this one here, it says that this one is called y equals 3x. That's the row that stands for every single point on that line. Now by that I mean, if we look at any point on the line, so let's look at this one here. See this wee point two, six, because remember we always um, say our x coordinate before the y coordinate, whenever we are stating our coordinates. So this little point here is two, six. I'll try and point from up here so that you can see it. And, um, this rule applies to it because the x coordinate is 2, right? So if we were to substitute a 2 in there, 3 multiplied by 2 gives us 6, which gives us the y coordinate. And that's all that equation means. It means that if you take the x coordinate and substitute it in there, then you're going to get the y coordinate out. So y equals 3x means that for every single point on this line, the y coordinate is 3 times the x coordinate. So let's look at another one. Here's one that they've marked on for us. So this point here is 3, 9 and it works again because the y coordinate is 3 times the x coordinate. Let's look at this one. 0, 0. Again it still works. 3 times 0 was 0. Um, let's look at this one here. Oh I'm not even on the screen for this one so let's look at this one. So it is minus 2, minus 6. So the x coordinate is minus 2. If we multiply that by 3, we get minus 6. So that's all the, the equation for a straight line is. It's just the rule that stands or is true for every single point on that line. And if you, it means that if you have the, the x coordinate, you can figure out the y coordinate or vice versa. If you have the y coordinate, you can figure out the x coordinate. And it's that type of stuff that we're going to be looking at today. Um, figure on out points on a line okay so I just wanted to give you that as a little bit of an introduction so that you so that you have a bit of an idea of what's going on yeah right so we're on page 81 here okay um so yeah as I say we're looking at the equation of a straight line so today we need to be able to substitute coordinates into an equation of a line and generate either x or y coordinates so you'll be given one and have to find the other one now there's a set of instructions here that you have to follow, okay? So to find the coordinates of a point on the line, when given one of the coordinates, we need to substitute the given coordinate into the equation. Now that's like a lot of words that just mean put the number in that you know and get the other one out, okay? So there's three steps to follow. So we always start off by writing out the equation. We substitute in our values that we know, and then we solve for the unknown, whatever that may be, okay? So let's look at example one. For these two, we have to find the work, sorry, the y coordinates of the points on the line y equals minus x, whose x coordinates are these. So actually, whenever I'm doing these, the first thing I'll write out is the information that they, they've given me. We know that x is seven. See the way it says whose x coordinates are for one, it's seven. That tells us the x coordinate they were, that we're working with is seven. Now, to figure out what the y coordinate is then, that we start off by writing out the equation. So the equation of the line is y equals minus 8x. Yeah. Then all I have to do is substitute in for x. We've just been told the x coordinate is 7. So all I have to do is replace this x in my equation with a 7. So y equals minus 8 multiplied by 7. So 8 times 7 is 56 and negative multiplied by positive gives me a negative so that tells me my y coordinate there is 56 okay 
So that's the answer for that one. Here, back up to my question. Find the y-coordinates of points on the line y equals minus 8x, whose x-coordinates are minus 3. So we know x is minus 3 for this one. And it's the exact same process as up here. Start off by writing out your equation. y equals minus 8x. Replace the value that we know. So we know this time that x is minus 3. So y equals minus 8 multiplied by minus 3. Okay, so 8 multiplied by 3 gives me 24. A negative multiplied by a negative gives me a positive. So y equals 24. And that's all we have to do for today's work. Later on then we will be drawing our graphs, but we'll worry about that when it, um, when it happens. Okay, so the next example. This time it's the opposite. We have to find the x-coordinates whenever we've been given the y-coordinate. So for both of these, the equation that we're using is this, y equals a third x. But we've been given the y-coordinate. So just to organise myself, I list that the way I know it. So y is 2, and we have to find x. So start off by writing out our equation, y equals a third x, and then substitute in what we know. So we know y is 2. So 2 equals a third of x. Now we're back to solving our algebra equations. See how handy these skills are? So to get x on its own, we have to divide by a third, or I would actually find it easier here just to write that I'm multiplying by 3, because if you multiply a third by 3, you end up with 1. So if we multiply both sides of our equation by 3, we'll get 2 multiplied by 3 gives me 6. A third multiplied by 3 gives me 1, so I'm just left with 1x. So x equals 6. Okay, I would have ended up with the exact same answer if I had have divided by a third here. Right, so if you have a fraction in something or in front of something like this, if it's a 1 on the top line, if you just multiply by what's on the bottom line, you'll get it. Or you can just divide by the fraction. They're, it's the exact same thing as each other. Okay, last one. So again, the y-coordinate is minus 7, so y equals minus 7, and we have to find the x-coordinate. So y equals a third x, substitute in what we know, so we know y is minus 7, so I'm just replacing that with a minus 7, equals a third x, and the same again, to get x on its own, I'm going to be multiplying by 3 both sides of my equation to make sure it stays balanced okay so 7 multiplied by 3 gives me 21 a negative multiplied by positive gives me a negative a third multiplied by 3 gives me 1 so that just leaves me with 1x so this time x is minus 21 okay that's it so I will list what our classwork is for today and I'm probably going to ask to see the notes to your nine because not everyone's watching these videos. So I need to um, start checking that we're that we're watching and recording our notes properly like I've asked you to. Okay. All right. See you next day.